repeat it again, the whole thing. Donald Trump suggested in a short version, explanation. Donald Trump suggested, suggested in front of several people when I was subjected to MKR trial. It would not, not, it would not be over. It would not be over if you would see something like Republicans and Democrats divided on this impeachment that you would have resolved. He said, I already have the swords. I already have, uh, I already got feedback on what it would be like on how to see the thing. If they would be divided on this thing, uh, if they would have, because Donald Trump is always writing in a little booklet type of stuff. He does not even put anything in his organizer or stuff like this. He's got a little booklet and that's where he writes his little stuff. This kind of stuff. He's got everything written down on how to see important stuff like this that would be decided about his future. Not, it would not be like this if you would have something like this coming out, uh, that you would have Democrats doing that kind of stuff, Republicans doing that kind of stuff, it would not be over. Pelosi, we would do the stuff like this to him because he would be doing the stuff like this to you. So basically in Orwellian way, Democrats would be doing the stuff like this to him. They would have done the stuff like this to him because he did in Orwellian, in a way, stuff to me. <clears throat> This sounds really, really, really fancy, but I cannot afford not to consider Mr. Graham. Mr. Graham, his explanation on a video, if I would see the video like this in front of the White House, seems to me yet the most rational because I'm not willing to put online, believe into some kind of Orwellian game, my life. Yeah, I'm not willing to bet my life in Orwellian game between Democrats and Republicans. And it sounds really, really impressive, Mrs. Pelosi, but if the chance exists, and clearly according to Mr. Graham exists that the proper protocol was not followed, impeachment protocol was not followed, uh, and it's something that basically matches description of Donald Trump's scenario on how this would be just used to get the game going basically <clears throat> in that case <clears throat> I have to really see it through Mr. Graham's eyes uh, I don't think that Mr. Graham alone likes Donald Trump uh, I think the two are actually not really good buddies uh, and actually it doesn't matter whether he likes him or not. The bottom line is that me, I, myself, nor Americans should rely on some kind of Orwellian game. Uh, you know, he, he, he to me and uh, you to him and this and that. Uh, following the official protocols, the Constitution and stuff like this, uh, should just be uh, basically the way to go. I don't, I don't really believe in any kind of games like this uh, going. That, you know, it's like turning coin, basically, I don't know, turning lives. It's like turning coin uh, of the people, people's lives. I don't believe in this kind of politics. I believe, I believe in a politic clearly according to the rules, the regulations, according to constitution. Uh, if that kind of stuff was not followed, like Mr. Graham suggested, uh, I too am keen to believe that nothing good is going to come out of this impeachment, that this impeachment in fact was used to cover up all the crimes Donald Trump have committed, basically that it's going to be used to reimburse Donald Trump for all the damage he caused to the people, that he'll be basically free to walk away without a single scratch. Uh, so I got to see it just the way Lindsey Graham see it, uh, sees it. There's no, there's no way I would engage myself in some kind of a schizophrenic game like this. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Till next time.